Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos here talking all about relationships and emotional regulation and spirituality and so, so much more. And for this video, I want to talk about overgiving because I feel like there is this perception and this is something that I've definitely believed and am trying to unravel and undo is that we have to give more in order to receive or like I actually think it kind of stems from seeking external validation to be honest as somebody that's dealt with a lot of low self-esteem and insecurities and stuff I would kind of like like the belief was that I had to overgive and give more and give more and give more, not just to people, but to everything in order to be worthy enough of receiving and even just receiving the bare minimum. And I think if you look at your relationships, especially romantic ones, you can definitely see this dynamic play out if this belief is present for you in terms of like constantly giving to these people just so that you can get something back and like even just accepting scraps back or even not even getting much back whatsoever like the bare minimum <laughs> and this can look differently for everybody but just the belief that you have to kind of overgive and keep on giving just to get something in return and I actually see this belief play out in terms of my career as well and in terms of music and stuff like if you look back at my old videos and I don't know if you can see the dates of when I posted anymore I'm not sure if YouTube have changed that but like at one point I was uploading four videos a week on top of trying to make music making crystal jewelry in fact if you look at, back at some of my vlogs you can see how much I was working as well as working a job like a normal job as well like I was just grinding myself into the ground and the belief underneath that all I now realize is that I felt like I had to keep giving I had to overgive to the point of like complete burnout and exhaustion of like overgiving content overgiving music overgiving everything and that plays out in relationships too of like overgiving and stuff just to be able to receive success or receive receive like audience attention or you know what I mean it's just like over giving over doing it burning yourself out and especially in romantic relationships over giving to those kinds of people in order to receive something and it really stems from a lack of self-worth and a lack of trust in the universe and I think I've actually filmed a or recorded a podcast episode Elemental Mirror podcast on um feeling like the universe is against you and I think this kind of touches on that is like feeling like you're so disconnected from the universe or such a lack of trust and lack mentality essentially that you don't feel any level of faith or trust in your ability to receive and in your ability to like have the universe give you what you want it can feel like you're not worthy of it or not deserving of it or like you have to become something else to get it or do more to get it you know like just this idea of perfection or this idea of the lifestyle or the perfect version of you that you have to become in order to receive your abundance and I'm really starting to understand how toxic that is because you're constantly feeling like you're not doing enough or not being enough and you have to like strive for all of these things including just being who you are like that you have to change who you are in order to just receive the bare minimum of your abundance and of what you want like the type of relationship that you want the type of money that you want the lifestyle that you want like to get your dream life it feels like or it can feel like you have to become something that you're not and that you have to work so hard for it and especially in relationships that you have to like become this perfect version of you but to the point where you're over giving to people that don't even deserve it and aren't even worthy of you but your your lack of self-worth in yourself makes you feel like that's all you can get or that that's all you're worth and that they're like these incredible people even though they're barely even giving you the minimum of what's actually expected in a relationship do you know what I mean so this lack of 
Lack mentality and low self-esteem can really affect so many areas of your life to the point where it just completely drains you and doesn't allow you to be authentic, doesn't value your authenticity and who you are and essentially just tells you that you're not good enough to be you. And it can be such a low vibrational state to be in and can lead to depression and just complete lack of fulfillment and unhappiness and stuff. So really dealing with lack mentality and just delving into your belief system and looking at where these patterns play out is such a game changer and so essential if you want to transform this and stop you know battling with yourself and also stop over giving to so many different people that don't deserve it you know I just think it's important to realize that we don't have to over give in order to be worthy you don't have to over give to people and if it's something creative you don't have to burn yourself out in order to be worthy of money or success or anything like that you can literally go at your own pace and be authentic to yourself and create Create when you feel like creating and like release content when you feel like releasing content and the same with relationships you know you can just be your authentic self you can set your standards and express your needs express your non-negotiables and the right people the right opportunities all of that stuff will come to you in the right way you know and sometimes it can feel like we have to become this perfect version of ourselves but really creating this like other version of you actually isn't as fulfilling as you think it's going to be because you have to burn yourself out continuously and stuff like that and live a life that's not authentic to you and that is more draining and more stifling than anything else I've definitely found for myself so just understanding that you can actually be who you are and that that can be more than enough for you to live your life and find your happiness and attract all of the relationships and opportunities that you actually want like it comes from being authentic it doesn't come from burning yourself out and over giving to all of these toxic people and even if the people in your life are incredible people that you really want around you and that actually benefit you and stuff you still don't need to over give in order to keep them close and keep them in your life you know like the right people will allow you to be authentic and will allow you to take care of yourself and look after yourself and value yourself like they'll want that for you you know so being authentic means literally putting your needs first and valuing yourself enough to do that and then being able to fill yourself up and like the overflow is what you pour into them without draining your cup you know so I really hope that this message resonates with you. If this is something that you're doing, I definitely recommend looking at this, looking at your patterns and behavior and looking at your belief system so you can transform this because we don't wanna stay stuck in lack mentality anymore and keep attracting all of these different dynamics and relationships and situationships that don't serve us. So I hope that this video was helpful. Definitely check out the description box for all links about me, our group chat, my phone number you can whatsapp me and links to my music my crystal jewelry and everything else about me and i really hope you're having the best week i will see you in the next video bye